I think before, especially with Algebra One, it was very. Um, I want to say it was. I think it could be. It could be slightly boring. <laughs> with um, just using a textbook and I'd always try to pull material off the internet but it was still kind of like worksheets or stuff you could see in the textbook but now um, the students are students really want to they're like are we doing the Steams unit today like they're really um, more engaged and learning it's something that's more interactive than just using that textbook and also I guess some skills that they have outside of just the algebra skills are kind of I think it's making them maybe a more well-developed person um, all around is not just you know do you know these algebra skills are you good at communicating what you know are you able are you good, good at calculating and showing what you know and in your explanations I think there is just they're making them more well-rounded students um, now from how I'm teaching using the same units okay. continue to have some type of challenge based learning that go, that goes on every year um, but making sure it still addresses the math standards but just you know making it something that's connected to the um, science and technology, engineering, math world, and actually show them the deeper connection of what they're learning and how it relates to um, maybe a career that, career that they may um, want to be a part of when they you know, get out of college or maybe even after high school. Yeah. Sometimes you go to professional development and you're like, oh, this is good material, but then you kind of pack it away in a folder and you never really get the chance to implement it. But what this seems, you're, you're actually kind of forced to implement it because you spend all this time in the summer to develop these units and then you have great coaches that are here to kind of support you and um, also they're there to actually make sure that's being implemented by coming in and assisting and videotaping and um, giving you great advice so they kind of are there to push you and kind of help you make sure to make sure it's implemented so I think that's how it's different from other professional development where you kind of just pack up some papers and yeah I'm gonna do that and you, you may not get around to it but you really want to but um, the SEAMS program has definitely been very supportive in making sure it's fully implemented. Um, the, the coaches were, were amazing this summer. I think it was um, really good to have them around and actually during the school year too, just um, being able to look at the unit and see, be here and see how it's going with the students. They were really good at helping me to reflect on what happened, looking at some of the pros and cons and maybe how I could actually make them better in the future. I actually have students who, are, who seek who want to engage in what we're learning, what we're doing in the SEAMS unit. I really, I really don't have them saying, hey, when's, when, when's the next lesson in the, the textbook? <laughs> or I can't wait to do that, you know, but I do have students who every day, are we doing SEAMS now? You know, because I try to spend some portion of the time in the text and then I'll spend maybe the rest of the day working on our SEAMS unit and they're like, are we, are we getting the SEAMS unit now? So they're really um, excited about it and they like being able to work with their peers they like being able to kind of think outside the box on what they want to do and it's not like just one answer to um, how they whatever project or design or whatever they're creating I think they um, that has the, I guess the ability to be able to think outside of the box being able to do something that doesn't have one end answer like a, like a so-called correct answer I think that that's something that's helped them I think and it's um, like I said it's allowed them to actually want to learn and want to be involved in their learning very positive um, feedback on the units. I had the students kind of do reflection on how their teammates worked and I also kind of talked to them um, about how they thought the unit went and even looking at, I actually kind of reviewed some of the surveys at the end and I, um, I was pleasantly surprised to see that a lot of them gave very good feedback on how they thought the unit went and their interest in uh, math and science um, and even maybe engineering as well. I think the, um, they've been received very well They've been received very well. That's the biggest one is being eager to learn the algebra. <laughs> being uh, excited about learning the algebra and it's because it's not something that's just um, in a textbook. And I've seen some growth in them. So because before the unit, we'll have a pre-assessment and then we have that post-assessment. And um, most of my students have grown. So I think that's a great thing from looking at the pre and post-assessment that they're actually learning and that, you know, what's going on is not just playtime. They're actually still getting in the math standards, but they're getting it in maybe in a not as typical way of learning the textbook. I want to say it's actually also allowed me to build a better relationship with some of my students because I'm able to maybe talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, kind of get them in those small groups and kind of see who knows what and um, I'm able to see some students' strengths. I saw some strengths come out in that first unit that I didn't know were there. Some leaders can't def definitely showed me like, hey, I'm a, I'm a leader when it comes to working in a team and a group and getting work accomplished. So I was able to see some things that I probably 
wouldn't normally see when we were just like doing textbook work. Oh wow! I think uh, I think my students are up there. I think they are um, they are enjoying being able to. Um, from my current unit, they're working on video um, taping and actually putting that into Google Slides. They're also working on um, this animation software, and a lot of them are excited about doing that. I had at least. 20 of them that came up during lunch because they wanted to learn more about the animation software and figure out how to um, use it within the unit. Um, and I have also some students who are interested, we're going to maybe do some screencast-o-matic where they actually can see a video of themselves and then also record what's going on on the screen. So I think they're well on their way in regards to 21st century skills. And I was surprised at how many careers that they came up with, like, oh yeah, this career does that, this career does that. And I think the fact that they can see the connection to what we're doing, to a career that they could possibly do one day, I think it's going to have definitely help push them into some of those STEM careers, which is you know the goal for sure. Um, I think this the units are definitely helping them to see that hey, I can achieve this, I can achieve this career. I've, I've grown as an educator. That at first that the summer was going to be like overwhelming, but I think it was definitely a great challenge, and it was filled with a really like a vast amount of great information um, so I, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to be a part of it and I'm glad that I have another summer of it it's going to continue to make me better at what I'm doing as a math educator